Hello everyone, welcome back to the Popsicle Night channel. My name is Joseph. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to check out this video. Please don't forget to click the like button if you like this video or hit the thumbs down if you don't. It will really help me out to get this video to more viewers like you. Also, if you enjoy the contents of this channel, please consider subscribing if you haven't already and feel free to share this content. With that said, let's get started. So today I'll be showcasing both the Rapid Strike and Single Strike Urshifu V Max from Battle Styles. Let's start with Rapid Strike Urshifu V. It has 220 HP with two attacks. The first one is Strafe. For one fighting energy, it will do 30 base damage and you can choose to switch this with one of your benched Pokemon. And its second attack is 100 Furious Blows. For two fighting and one colorless, it will do 150 base damage. Its Gigantamax form is Rapid Strike Urshifu VMAX. It has 330 HP with two attacks. The first one is Gale Thrust. For one fighting energy, it does 30 base damage. However, if during your turn this moved from the bench to the active, it will do 150 damage instead, which is really powerful for just one energy. And its second attack is GMAX Rapid Flow. For two fighting and one colorless, while you have to discard all energy from this Pokemon, you can deal 120 damage to any two of your opponent's Pokemon, whether one in the active or both in the bench. While it may seem costly because you do have to discard all energy, the Rapid Strike energy really makes Rapid Strike attacks super affordable to pay, making it seem like you only need one or two energies for powerful attacks. However, the Rapid Strike energy can only be attached to Rapid Strike Pokemon, and it provides two in any combination of water and fighting energy. So this will act as two fighting energy for our Rapid Strike Urshifu. I'll have a full set of these, which makes for a rapid setup so that our Rapid Strike Urshifu can even deal key knockouts to weaker Pokemon, which can really disrupt our opponent's setup. And I'm also using Memory Capsule, which allows you to use any attack from a Pokemon's pre-evolution. So with this, we don't really have to worry about switching Rapid Urshifu back and forth from the bench. It can simply deal 150 damage using its V attack, 100 Furious Blows. This will help us conserve energy for when we really need to use its G-Max attack. Because again, you will need to discard energy when you use it. So for the most part, our primary attacker will be this Rapid Strike Urshifu V-Max. However, there are some things that Rapid Strike Urshifu can't accomplish that Single Strike Urshifu can. Single Strike Urshifu V has 220 HP with two attacks. The first one is Laser Focus. For one fighting energy, it doesn't deal any damage. However, this allows you to search your deck for two fighting energy and attach them to this Pokemon. And its second attack is Impact Blow. For two fighting and one colorless, it will deal 180 damage. And you can't use this attack the next turn. However, I would like to point out that compared with the Rapid Strike Urshifu V, this attack deals 30 more damage which is really significant because when you combine this attack with the Rapid Strike Urshifu, you can practically KO almost all of the VMAX in the game. Its Gigantamax form is Single Strike Urshifu VMAX. It has 330 HP with two attacks. The first one is Beatdown. For three colorless energy, it will deal 100 damage. And its second attack is GMAX One Blow. For 3 fighting and 1 colorless, it will deal 270 damage and you will have to discard all energy attached to this Pokemon. Its high cost may be hard to take, but what makes this attack good is that it ignores any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. So those who are immune to VMAX attacks like Zamazenta V or Decidueye, Altaria will still get damage from this attack. However, this attack is still affected by resistance and it will reduce your damage output. So Single Strike Urshifu VMAX can deal huge damage where Rapid Urshifu cannot. That's why in my opinion, the Urshifu VMAX work a lot better if you use them together. But the best part about this build is Colossal with the Tar Generator ability. Once during your turn, you may attach a Fire Energy, a Fighting Energy, or one of each from your discard pile and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. This is such a powerful ability that despite having to discard energy when you use the G-Max attacks of Rapid Strike Urshifu VMAX or Single Strike Urshifu VMAX, you can easily get them back from the discard pile with the help of Colossal. And this also helps to energize quickly when you need to set up a new Urshifu after one gets knocked out. 
To help set up Colossal, I've added copies of Rare Candies. I've also added a copy of Skyla to help us find our item cards. And I have both Basic Fighting and Fire Energy in the deck, since Fire and Fighting Energies are what applies to Colossal's ability. And to help get the energies from the deck is a copy of Viridian Forest. But you can also use this to discard an energy from your hand so you can later use that discarded energy with Colossal. And Quick Ball can also help discard an energy from our hand and search for our basic Pokemon. The only downside to both Urshifu is their weakness to Psychic, but we can manage that with the help of the Weakness Guard Energy, which removes our weakness. So use this carefully when you're up against those difficult matchups. For my main drawing engine, I've included two copies of Gormandai Snorlax. Its ability ends your turn, but it helps you to draw cards until you have seven in your hand. I also have Crobat V for its Dark Acid ability and Dedene GX for its Dede Change ability, and Mew for its Bench Barrier ability. As for the rest of the deck, I have one copy of Fan of Waves, which removes a special energy from one of your opponent's Pokemon, and this may actually help you to stall a turn on some situations. I also have one Ordinary Rod, two Evolution Incense, two Pokemon Communication, a full set of Switch for mobility, two Bosses Orders, Cheryl, which can fully heal our evolved Pokemon. At first, I had Phoebe, but I never actually used this card, and we have Single Strike Urshifu VMAX anyways, so I replaced it with Cheryl, which comes in handy even if you have to discard energies, you can get them back with Colossal anyway, so this is a much better option, I think. Cynthia and Caitlyn also allows you to get back a discarded supporter card and or draw three cards two Marnies and two Professor's Research. And that's pretty much it. The deck list will be in the description below, but enough talk, let's see some gameplay. Okay. So our opponent chooses to go first. We're gonna go second. We got Rapid Strike Urshifu. Rapid Urshifu, let's just call it that. Rapid Urshifu. We got Roly Coley. So that's definitely good to have Roly Coley. Uh, we have a baseline to set up our Colossal. So we're up against a Dark type deck. Okay, it's in a turn as this VMAX deck. Um, I've played with a lot of matches with the turn to uh, VMAX. And I have been able to win against it fairly easily. Because uh, Eternatus VMAX is weak against fighting, so... Alright, so they have a... Coughing and Wheezing line. So that could mess up our... Colossal's ability. And they're also using... Weakness Guard, just like we are, so... Um, their weakness to fighting definitely... It's gonna get removed, and that's gonna make it harder for us to knock out Eternatus V Max. But that's the beauty of mixing the Rapid with the Single Strike or Shifu V Max is that we can hit hard and we can also um, spread damage. So I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, Radiant Forest here, and I'm gonna just put the Weakness Guard to ener start energizing our. Rapid Urshifu. Um, they could set up their Eternatus VMAX and knock out our Urshifu. So I think I'll just use Fan of Waves, remove that special energy, and that's gonna stall us one turn. So I don't have to put Roly Coley in the active. And we have Evolution Incense. Ooh, they're also using Hammer. Uh, anyways, we have uh, Rapid Strike Energy, so we can start attacking as early as next turn. Okay, so Weezing is weak against fighting, so that's good. Uh, Hoopa is not weak against fighting, but it is within a knockout range of G-Max Rapid Flow. Okay, they're gonna Marnie us. All right. And the all, one of the best things about the Colossal 
is that uh, I, I don't get too worried about uh, Hammer's matchup. So when your opponent uses some um, crushing hammers a lot and they do remove your energy, you can just get the mech with a uh, colossal, which is, which is I, I'm really loving this um, this setup. The only thing is, colossal is a stage two, which makes it a lot harder to to set up for sure. I think I'll just set up another Roly Coli just in case they could target it because that's our main uh, energy engine. So I'll. Just get an energy using Verdant Forest. Get a fire energy so that I can discard it with the the quick ball. And I'm just gonna get a Crobat V. Maybe we can get something out of this four cards. All right, good. We do get a Fighting Energy, and I'm gonna evolve into Rapid V Max, and I'm gonna Marnie as well. Okay, we do get. A Skyla and a Rare Candy, so we will we should be able to survive an attack from Eternity's V Max. Uh, this is not a poison deck. I mean, they are using Galarian Weezing, but but still. Uh, but we don't have a Fighting Energy on the discard pile yet, so we have to really set that up as quickly as we can. Um, Eternatus V Max is still my number one favorite um, deck build, especially when I use it for the online tournaments, so I can win those um, unlock packs for trading. Um, I did put Weakness Guard also on that build. Uh, I do use the Poison Poison uh, Eternatus build. Uh, I, I've been winning a lot of uh, tournaments. As far as winning the whole, the whole um, three matches online, yeah, I've been winning a lot with that one. So definitely one, still one of my favorite uh, decks to use is Eternatus V Max. So this matchup is not as easy as I thought it would be because again they are using Weakness Guard. So we're just gonna take it slow here. And think it through. So we do get a rapid strike energy, so now we can start attacking. And I think I'm just gonna use Skylet to start setting up Colossal. So I'm gonna get an Evolution Incense, get a Colossal, use the rare candy, and evolve one. Um, the way I build a stage two. Or if there's an evolution, I always get two evolution incense and two Pokemon communication. Cause um, hold on, let's just let me just try and attack here. I'm gonna get uh, this guy in the active, and I'm gonna chip damage the other Eternatus V Max. We do get a boss's order from that one prize. So Galarian Weezing is going to mess us up, we won't be able to use Colossal. I have to figure out how to get, get out of this um, predicament here. But yeah, like I was saying with the um, Evolution Incense and Pokemon Communication, uh, I do have Skyla but sometimes if you don't have another Pokemon on your hand and all you have is Pokemon Communication, you still won't be able to use it, especially if you need an Evolution Pokemon right away. So. Having that option of Evolution Incense without having to trade another Pokemon from your hand really helps. So I just put usually two, two, two of each, one Evo Incense and one Pokecom. Really helps out to easily set up any um, Evolution line for Pokemon with the, with the help of uh, Skyla. So they're just gonna start poisoning our uh, Rapid Urshifu. And I'm gonna get an evolu use evolution incense to start building up another colossal, which could help us out later on. And I think I'll use uh, Skyla here. Um, let's see. I 
What can we do? What can we do? I could start setting up um, single strike or Shifu, but I think I'll just get another professor's research. I'm gonna switch out Crobat V, and I'm gonna start er energizing our Rapid Urshifu. Um, the only thing is, uh, with that poison chip damage, we should still be able to survive one attack, even with a full bench. We should survive with 10 HP. But if they boss's order uh, our Rapid Urshifu, they're just gonna chip it, uh, chip damage it, and. Speaking of which, that's exactly what they're trying to do. Um, okay, so the other Eternatus VMAX or, or also have um, weakness guard, so it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting here. Um, what I could do is use this quick ball. Maybe I can set up a single strike Urshifu VMAX. So I'll just get that. Use Professor's Research here. We do get a Rapid Strike Energy. So I can use that. Again, Galarian Weezing is weak against um, fighting. So even if it has 130 HP. If it wasn't weak, it will survive. But we should be able to knock it out. And I'm just gonna use Pokemon Communication here. Get myself uh, another Urshifu V Rapid Rapid Strike. I'm gonna use G Max Rapid Flow, and I'm just, I'm just gonna get ahead in price I think I'll just get two prizes off of this Weezing and Zigzagoon so we'll need three prizes left we have our opponent has uh, one Eternatus with oh we got boss's order so once we set up this single strike we can knock out that one in the bench and that we can get our last three prices off of that. Anyways, that's the plan. That's the plan, but um, our rapid uh, rapid V Max here is not gonna survive. Yeah, once it's poisoned, it's gonna... It's gone, unfortunately. Okay, so... Let's see... What I could do here... Um, let me just send out the single strike. Do get another Skyla. Hmm. But we don't have fighting energy in the discard pile, which is really bad. I think of just using Marnie, maybe we can get one. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think I'm just gonna Marnie. Still nothing. Okay. <laughs> Um, hmm. <laughs> Let's put Snorlax there, put a fire energy there. I'm just gonna tar generator, put a uh, fire energy retreat, and I'm just gonna evolve this, put a memory capsule, and I'm gonna gourmandize. Maybe we'll get something off of this. Alright, we get a fighting energy off of that. And another Colossal, which could help us uh, energize twice as much, twice as fast. Um, 
Now, figuring out how to get two more fighting energy on this single strike is going to be the, the next. You know what we could do too? Is if we use boss's order, boss one of the crowbats and then knock out uh, that coughing, we could get three prizes. That could be an option. Another option is to full energize our the uh, Urshifu, uh, single VMAX, single Urshifu, and then knock out that one Eternatus for three prize. But it depends on what card we get here. Um, hmm. Let's evolve into Colossal first. Um, we could use. Because we can't use. Colossal. Um, hmm. We could knock that one. That guy out, but. You know what? Here. Let's boss order this guy. Put this guy in the active. Put this one. Tar generator. We can tar generator two. And we can get two prizes. Just by using beatdown. Off of this crowbat. Maybe we'll get something. Okay, cool. We got a fighting energy. That could be that could be very significant. So we got one fire. Um, if we use Professor's Research, we can get uh, we can discard that one fighting energy. Maybe we'll pull another fighting energy from the deck, and then that will complete the three fighting one colorless energy um, on. Um, single V max here and we could deal 270 damage or or we could evolve into rapid strike we could evolve into rapid strike and just snipe one of our um, our opponent's Pokemon that's fine, you can crushing hammer all you want. It's not gonna do anything. <laughs> That's the beauty about this deck, you know. Uh, Colossal really shines. Crushing hammer is ineffective against this deck. Again, the only problem is uh, setting up Colossal. But once you set it up and it stays on your bench safe, you're gonna be fine. So let's see, what's our uh, plan of action here? If we get another boss sword, that'd be nice. We can just snipe one of the one of our opponent's other Pokemon and just win. Um, what I could do also is uh, evolve into Rapid Strike and just chip damage twice. I could do that. I can chip damage uh, the other turn just. Or, you know what? We only need one prize, so we actually just need to... Alright, we gotta be careful here, because... Once they knock out this, um... Urshifu, that's it. We lose the game. Let me get, um... Rapid VMAX here. Evolve this. We have a fighting energy in the discard. Um, again, we can discard this. We have two Colossals, so we should be fine. Um, there's the boss's orders. But if they have a boss's order, that's going to be it for us. If they have a boss's order, they could just, they could just snipe our single VMAX and then single Urshifu VMAX. And that's going to be it. They get three prizes, they win.
<clears throat> I think I'll just attach this energy and I'm gonna go ahead and retreat. Um, let me charge generator. So let's put this another a fighting energy. Tar generator. We're gonna put the fire energy on this guy and put the fighting energy on our active so we can use GMAX Rapid Flow. Right? Yeah, I could do that. GMAX Rapid Flow. And I'm just gonna target the active and the other VMAX. Because what they can end up doing is uh, keep switching them around. So we can even use um, single strike to finish off one of these Eternatus V. But again, boss's order is gonna be our thing here if they have a boss's order that's it which Eternatus VMAX builds usually have like four <laughs> four copies of so this is it either they have it or they don't but definitely I my hats off to our opponent here who was able to put up a good fight even with their Eternatus build uh, despite our advantage having um, that we are hitting for weakness their weakness guard definitely um, their weakness guard really um, added to the bulk or the defense uh, to their build so really really good deck I really enjoy that um, Eternatus build really good alright so they don't have it and this should be it Yep, we, all we have to do is do another G-Max Rapid Flow and we can knock out that other uh, Eternatus in the bench. So, ooh, that was a close one. A really close one. So here we go, G-Max Rapid Flow for the win. Really good game, really good game. I really, really like that game. Close one, very close game. All right, let's gonna go. Let's go first. Um, this is a little disconcerting because we are. They have a um, purple box, <laughs> and our Urshifu V Max. Our Urshifus are weak against purple types, so we're up against the Mad Party. Let's just start setting up uh, our energies. Put this energy there. Discard the fire energy. Gorman dies. Okay. So our opponent has the upper hand. They are hitting for weakness if they set up multi guys. So what we need to do? Okay, they're using Manaphy as well, which searches for. Uh, Pokemon. Um, I would have preferred to have a Rapid Strike here because Rapid Strike only requires two energies. Well, with the Rapid Strike energy, you, you require uh, two energy. Uh, and we can just snipe. We can just snipe these um, low HP Pokemon. But. Right now, all we all we have is single strike. So I'm just gonna Marnie here. I mean, okay, we got a Crobat. Let's see, let's thin out our hand. I could get a single strike. No, I'll just go with the Crobat. So let's get three cards here. Maybe we'll get something. Alright, we got this. We can get rid of the fire. It's 
put in our discard and get our single our rapid strike. And I'm gonna gourmandize. We'll get three cards. Ooh, and we get rapid strike energies. So um so my my strategy against psychic type, I try not to evolve into VMAX right away because that's an easy pick. They can just pick off your VMAX and then they'll get three prizes right away. At least when you have um, two prizes on your bench, that's all they're gonna get is two prizes. So they'll, you know, they'll they'll end up having to knock out three Pokemon instead of just two. When you have two VMAXs all set up and then they they pick them off, um, then you you lose with two knockouts. So I usually just hold off on it and. So what I'm trying to, I'm planning to do here is, I mean, I could use the weakness guard on our single strike and start picking off on these mad party Pokemon. But I'd really like to set up Colossal so we can start energizing really quick. But at the same time, uh, rapid strike because we can knock out two Pokemon at a time. So I'm gonna put weakness guard here and I'll evolve into rapid strike or Shifu V Max and I'm gonna use uh, beat down to knock out at least one. Uh, let me use Pokacom here for now and uh, I'll just get Carcoal, start building up um, Colossal. Get another fire energy using Green Forest. And I'm gonna knock out this um, sen um, multi guys. Get us one energy. And that gets us our second weakness guard, which is really, really, really good. You know, Phoebe is good in some matchups, but um, I'm finding that I haven't really been using Phoebe. I may just have to switch that with something else. So even if they switch into that Pulti guys, we can just easily knock it out. And our weakness guard is really protecting us right now, which is really good. Okay, so we should be safe here, 180, but they are hitting for a lot of damage though, that's the thing, and we're only getting one price at a time. So I'm going to start setting up Rapid Strike, I'm just going to use Beat Down here, I mean they're down to one more Pokemon in the bench, one more attacker anyways. But if they get a twin energy and I mean their Manaphy has air balloons so they can just easily retreat and they they should be able to knock out our single strike and that Mew is going to cause a problem because now we can't hit the bench with rapid strike or Shifu. Alright so that's going to get them three prizes but that's okay. Um, Alright, they need oh, they need two more prizes. There's our colossal finally. Put that there. I'm just gonna strafe because um Yeah. Funnelby is weak against um fighting. So even though it hits for 30, it's gonna be double. Uh, we got a professor's research which is really good. And they're they're only gonna get one price off of this Roly Coley. But if they bosses order our rapid Urshifu or Crobat V, it's gonna be it. Man, bosses orders got to be like the best card in the game for sure. 
boss's order. Nothing is safe with boss. The boss. You know? that's, <laughs> that's why it's that card is definitely boss. It's the boss. The boss of all Pokemon cards. The boss's orders. Alright, they don't have anything they can attack. Um, I have to just sacrifice everything. Professor's research. Hopefully, we get a rapid strike. Well, they have a Mew, so never mind. Um, so let's evolve into that. Switch into this. And I'm just gonna. Gale Thrust? No, no. Um, Yeah, either way, Gale Thrust just knock out this active, but you know, it is what it is. Um, if they have boss's order and they knock out Crobat V, that's it. But either they have it or they don't. That's uh, that's what I always say. Scoop up net. Okay. I don't know what's going on. I, maybe they don't have energy? I don't know. Maybe all their energy is... Um, Either prize or in the bottom of the deck. <laughs> okay, there's the energy. Oof. 220. Yeah, one more hit. That's <laughs> that is it. One more hit. Um, <laughs> what to do? What to do? Yeah, one more hit, and that's gonna be it. They have a few more energy cards. Let me just put that energy on Colossal. If we're able to attack with Colossal, we can get one prize. Hmm. Yeah. Either they have it or they don't. Whatever. <laughs> oh. Wow. Yeah, Mad Party is definitely... A contender because they are only giving up one price card at a time and with that Mew unfortunately we can't use our G-Max um, rapid flow right away to knock out multiple Pokemon at a time you know if they had um if if they had uh They had a Pokemon that can search for energy instead of Pokemon. I think they could probably win this game. Unless they already have their energy and they just knock out our VMAX. You know, reset stamp. Got boss order. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> Okay, let's go. we're gonna go first. So, initial setup for us will be uh, Rapid Strike Urshifu. Let's put an energy in the active. Ooh, Mewtwo and Mew GX. So this is gonna be a tough battle. 
Again, they are hitting for weakness. So it's going to be hard for us to evolve into a VMAX and then lose three prizes right away. So again, m my thought, my line of thinking here when, when dealing with, um, with Psychic type is that I I'm not going to try and evolve into VMAX. So that, I mean, it's really hard, especially if you don't have the weakness guard right away. So you have to really search for it, dig, dig for it. And if you don't find it, you're going to really have a hard time. So especially our opponent's deck is very explosive, very fast, you know, having a welder there and just being able to energize uh, their Mew3 tag team. Um, and then they can attack this turn. But since they used boss's order, we should be safe for another turn. Okay. I'll take that. I'll take that. And our Phantom Waves will be useless, so I'm just going to discard that. And I'm going to get... Should I get a Rolly Coley? If I get a Crobat, we're only going to get two. Um... Yeah, I guess. So let's thin out our hand by attaching Rapid Strike in the active. That way we have two options. I'll just get rid of that. Okay, we do get a Snorlax. I'll just strafe and... Let's see. I think I'll just retreat into Stormlax. We give up one prize. That's fine. We have a Marnie anyways. We're just going to have to use that in the next turn. And we have a Fire Energy. So even if they knock out Snorlax, maybe we can do some chip damage on that. Mew 2 and Mew tag team because some um, rapid strike hits for 150 and if we evolve into a uh, V max it'll hit for 120 so that will take care of the 270 HP of Mew 2 and Mew tag team that's the plan let's see how it goes oof wait ah okay so that ability only works on the active Pokemon, so we are we are safe. Dimension Breach. Here, you can have my Crobat, I think. That's the safest. I mean, they could knock it out, that's fine. They get a prize, that's fine. You get two prizes, actually. That's fine. We have really little option. Okay, I just put uh, Snorlax in the active. It's not. This is not looking good for us. <laughs> All right, let me just get rid of the fire energy. I'm gonna start. Uh, you know what? Let me get out Roly Coley. I think we gotta start setting up our Colossal here. It's gonna help us out in the long run. Okay. Let's put this uh, memory capsule there. Put another energy here. I'm gonna Gormandize. So either way, we can start attacking with either one of these. And we do get a weakness guard. So that's good. We're not gonna give up that easily, guys. They have the upper hand. Mewtwo and Mew are really strong for sure. But we're not going to give up that easily. They, I, they did have a boss order, but since we used Marnie, that just put it on the, that put that boss order in the bottom of the, of the deck. So that that did protect us from getting sniped into the active, which ultimately not, will knock out our um, Urshifu. Um, 
Let me put that in the in the bench. I'm gonna use Evolution Incense, get this. Put that there. Since we have memory capsule. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Um Yeah, let me just evolve this. Put this here. Switch into that. Marnie. And then... Get an evolution incense. Get a... Carcoal. And I'm gonna... Gale Thrust. So, because we switched into the active, we were able to deal 150 damage. So now, once we use Gale Thrust, that will knock out this Mewtwo and Mew Tag Team. And we don't have to worry about weakness. Thus, allowing us to survive. They'll have to knock out at least two more Pokemon to win, for sure. Two more Pokemon to win. Uh, either either way, they'll have to knock out two. So, even if they use uh, the GX attack of Charizard, it's not gonna knock out our our V Max. So the weakness guard really did save us th at this point. And um, once we use the the G Max attack, it's gonna. Discard the fighting energy. Okay. We can uh, evolve or get a Colossal using this Pokemon communication. Which is going to help us with our attacks. I'll go ahead and put the fighting energy. And I'm going to Professor Sweet Search here. Okay. Um, I don't know if we need... Do we need Mew? We do get another weakness guard, which is really good. Really good. Let's see. Um, I think I'm just gonna G-Max Rapid Flow and chip damage at... Reshizard, so that will get us three prizes and with that G max attack even if they knock out our V max which is very tempting for them we can just use uh, one of our <laughs> one of our um, Urshifu V's to attack and knock out their Reshizard so they'll have to heal it Otherwise, they're going to give up another... They're just going to give up three prizes. Okay, they're going to reset stamp. We still get three cards off of that though, which is okay. Yeah, I think we got this either way. That's their only attacker right now. Can't believe we survived. I <laughs> can't believe we survived through that. So despite them having a Mewtwo and Mew tag team, we were able to survive. Unbelievable. Yeah, so this Reshizard is in KO range. Let's uh, put single strike. We have a fighting energy too. Okay, all we need to do now is just tar generator. And knock out this uh, Reshizard for the win. Three prizes. Impact blow. Whew. That was uh, that was a close one. Very good game. Very good game. All right. So our opponent's gonna let us go first. We have single strike Urshifu to go in the active. Single strike. Uh, 
you know, I was very fortunate enough to get um, a Rapid Strike VMAX on, on my free pulse off of that um, 10,000 coins that I saved up. It was really nice that I was able to get one because the, the Rapid Strike VMAX is crazy expensive in the trades, which is ridiculous. Um, hmm. <laughs> Let's uh, play Reinforce, get discard that, get a fighting energy. And let's see, let's attach an energy and just pass. So we have a few supporter cards on our hand. Um, Professor's Research is going to discard a lot of our other supporter, which is not good. And it's going to discard the Rapid Strike uh, VMAX, which is not good. Probably Marnie's our best option. Or Skyla to get Quick Ball. To, so we can start setting up um, Colossal. Alright, so... Zashin V. Typical speedy, um, very fast-paced deck. Just throw everything in a discard pile. Get only what you need. Energize, Metal Saucer, Energy Switch, you know, all that, all that shebang. Very explosive, very, very deadly too, especially with that Rusted Sword. Uh, so right now they're hitting for 260 damage, which is crazy. It's just 10 less than uh, Urshifu, Single Strike Urshifu VMAX. <laughs> So, anyways, I'm just going to attach this energy on our Pokemon here, and I'm going to Marnie. I mean, that's going to mess up their hand. They have so much in their hand, anyways. Put all of that in the bottom of the deck. Uh, that gets a Snorlax and a Switch, so just Gorman dies here. Our setup is really slow right now. Could use a Roly Coley. I could use the Pokecom, get a Roly Coley, use Skyla in the next few turns to evolve into Roly Coley. We can start setting up um, Rapid Strike Urshifu. And I'm just going to continue to Gormandize here. We got another uh, Snorlax on the bench. So we might just end up um, giving up a few prize cards so that we can continue with our setup. And just hope for the best. Just hoping that we can best uh, this Zashin V deck. So what's going to help us that because of the Rusted Sword, they won't be able to re retreat as easily. So either they'll have to hard retreat or use a lot of switch. Or escape rope. Okay, never mind. They get an energy here. We're done for. Okay, they don't get anything. Okay. Metal Saucer, Switch, Knockout on our Ursi, uh, Single Strike Urshifu. Yep. No? Okay. Intrepid Sword. So we do get another turn for that, which is good. Okay, we got an evolution incense. Can put this here. Evil incense. For Roly Coley, finally. And let me just get. Single Strike Urshifu V Max. Get rid of that. Get another fighting energy. And I'm gonna use Beatdown. Get one prize <laughs> off of that Jirachi. Okay. So we can now evolve into Colossal. So 
So we'll use Skyla to get a rare candy, evolve into Colossal. And go from there. I might have to use a uh, quick ball in the next turn so we can set up another Urshifu. So at this point, they could have two attackers now. Um, they could just uh, retreat back, attack with the Zashin V in the in the bench. No, don't do that. Don't do that. It's gonna be our main engine. Okay, they're looking for something. I don't know what they're looking for. Okay, they get a Mel Saucer. I don't know. Uh, you know, the decisions we make when we play game can ultimately affect the result of the game, the entire game. So one small mistake will cost you the game. So now, instead of them hitting, knocking out a Roly Coley to give up two prizes, that could cost them. So, I mean, <laughs> maybe I'm being too overconfident, but I don't know. I am not as confident with with uh, our setup right now. So we could definitely lose this game. Um, I mean, this entire game is in our opponent's favor. So I'm just doing uh, my best here. I'm going to switch into Snorlax. Meantime, I'm going to energize Single Strike VMAX, Crobat, and get rid of that. We have one fighting. Let's just get this last fighting energy. I'm going to Gormandize for one. We can set up another Colossal. Because once we use the G-Max... The G Max single strike. Um, we're gonna have to discard the energy. So if we have two colossals, we could energize two fighting energies right away. Um, we have Cheryl also, and what I'm hoping for is that even if they hit our Okay, they're gonna escape rope. Uh, hmm. I think I'll just have to give up Crobat here. They they're gonna get two prizes for that, but at least their Zashin won't be able to attack the next turn. Oh, they're gonna boss order. Okay, that's not good. No good. No good. So I'm going to evolve into Colossal. And... I may just have to Cheryl. Let's uh, try and set up another Colossal. I think I'm just using Cheryl here. Do some chip damage on the Zashin V. They won't be able to attack the next turn. Unless they switch out, and if they do and attack our our V Max, we have one more fighting energy. So I'm just gonna Cheryl here. Put this energy, Tar Generator. Yeah, fighting and fire. And beat down chip damage on the Zashin V. Again, they'll have to retreat, attack with the other Zashin. And once they attack with that, we can just energize this uh, single strike to knock it out. And with this chip damage on Zashin V, we will have to set up another 
uh, Urshifu uh, attacker. Because that should be able to knock out this uh, Zashin V. Because even with the Rapid Strike 420, we should be fine. We're going to hit 420, which will knock it out. Um, so they're going to hit for 230. We're going to survive. We can knock it out. And then once they knock out, we can give up three prizes, which is fine. Um, boss's order. No, you know what? Let's just start generator. Yeah. Get that last energy. Marnie. Come on. Let's get ourselves our Urshifu. Let's go. Okay, that's fine. That's good. We get a quick ball. So I'm going to get rid of this other one. Get a Urshifu rapid strike. We can use this... Um, energy here G max one blow to knock out this Zashin V good 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 all right awesome 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 so what we could do here I think we have one more energy in the in the deck do we do we have one more energy in the deck? So what I'm thinking here... I mean, they have a Zashin in the active. All we need is one energy. We have a switch. So let's say we put Snorlax in the active. And then if this Zashin V stays in the active, we can switch and... Uh, Used Rapid Strike VMAX attack and knock out the Zashin V. So that will leave them with no attacker. And that will potentially win us the game. They've used a bunch of Metal Saucers already. So I don't know if they can recover quickly. So let's see. Um, we have a Rapid Strike VMAX. Um, I'll just put that in the active for now, I guess. No, no, no. Um, yeah, let's just evolve. Um, let's see. Let me switch into Crobat. You know what? That's what I should have done. I, I forgot. We were supposed to put another Pokemon in the active. Switch out and then just hit hit this uh, Zashin V. But we didn't, so whatever. With Colossal, we could do that anyways. Um, so I'll get both of these. Put the fire on Crobat V so we can retreat. And then Fighting Energy on Rapid Strike here. Use Professor's Research. Okay, we could get another Colossal, Retreat, Gale Thrust, knocking this Zashin V, we get two prizes, so we need one more, and that's it, yeah, and we get a, bo <laughs> we get a boss's order, that's it, that's it. There's no way our opponent can knock out any of our Pokemon. There's their ADP. It's an ADP Zashin deck. Unfortunately, they weren't able to set up their ADP. Otherwise, they they would they would be able to energize uh, a lot quicker while uh, hitting a lot of our Pokemon. Um, yeah, that's it. All we have to do is either bosses order one of their Pokemon or G Max Rapid Flow to hit one of these other Pokemon and win the game. Unless they have a stamp, which doesn't really matter because uh, we have access to energy regardless. 
And since they don't have a Mew, we can target this Jirachi unless they get it out. They're getting Trapped Sword. That's it. That's it. Good game. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Good game. Good game. Rapid Strike Urshifu VMAX and Single Strike Urshifu VMAX are the faces of the new battle style set. Together, they make such a great team, and with the help of Colossal to assist with their energy, this deck is almost unstoppable. The only difficult part of this build is setting up Colossal, but if you can set up fairly quickly at the start of each game, the setup for the Urshifus will be a lot easier. Personally, I prefer this build a lot more than just the standalone Urshifus. I like it better when both are in the same build. And that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please, please, please don't forget to smash that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And please consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay safe and have a great day.